that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. Oh, we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, this is the day, hallelujah, this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen, everybody. God bless you this again another time, another day, that we give in the name of the Lord the praise. This is the day that the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. For it was the Lord that made us, and not we ourselves. Amen. You know John chapter 14, verse 6. Jesus said this. Amen. I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man can come unto the Father but by me. Amen. Get your Bible. Amen. From the book of Acts, chapter 3. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. Praise the Lord. Most Heavenly Father God, in the name of Jesus, is again another time and another place that we come to give your name the praise. Amen. God, we thank you for this day. We thank you because thou has been a good God. You've been merciful unto us. And God, we ask you that you move right now in the name of Jesus. Touch these thine people in the name of Jesus. God, touch me. God, move us out of self into the realm of your spirit. Strengthen us in the name of Jesus. We need your touch right now. And even as God, we go into that home right now. Touch that man. Touch that woman. Touch those children in the name of Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. Satan, we come against you right now. We bind your power. We bind rebellion. We bind your evil. Hallelujah. Casting down imagination and everything that exalts itself above God. God, have your way right now. Touch every family member right now. Those that are near and those that are far. All across the globe. In the name of Jesus. In the north. Hallelujah. In the south. Hallelujah. In the east. Hallelujah. In the west. In the name of Jesus. Move, God. Thou art able right now. We trust in you. We call upon your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say amen. 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 Glory to his name. Precious name. Glory to his name. There to my heart was the blood applied. Singing glory to his name. Well, I am so one just to save from sin. Jesus completely abide within. There in my heart where he took me in, singing glory to his name. Everybody, glory to his name. Well, glory to his name, his precious name. Glory. Glory to his name, precious name. There to my heart, it was the blood of life. Singing glory to his name. All right. My voice seemed like it went down down the street. Got to, got to catch it. But amen. We're going to praise God anyhow. All right. <laughs> praise the Lord. From the book of Acts, uh, brother, you want to read for us? We're going to get into some good stuff in this book of Acts. Uh, it's a book that's attributed, amen, to the book, uh, to the author Luke, to one of the apostles. Luke, uh, however, ever, it is the Acts of the Apostles. And it's right after Pentecost. And in Acts chapter 1, verse 8, it says, after this, amen, uh, the Holy Ghost come, you shall be witnesses. Amen. It's a lot of people are witnessing before they get the Holy Ghost, but it's even more better when you go in the protocol of getting the Holy Ghost, because it says in, uh, in Acts chapter 2, when the Holy Ghost, uh, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, they were all in one place on one accord, and it came a sound from heaven, as it were, a rush of mighty wind, and it filled all of the house where they were sitting. And this was after Jesus had uh, told them, Amen. That uh, when he got ready to leave, he said, if I be lifted up, I'll draw all men unto me. And he told them in John chapter 14, he said, I won't leave you comfortless. He said, but I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit, the comfort and the spirit of truth, which the world can't receive. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, thank you. All right. All right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, something was blinding me then. Praise the Lord. You might have to start over. Oh, no, no, no. All right. Well, hey, we're going to leave that temporary blackout. We're not going to be going over that. Amen. Hey, things happen. But uh, we didn't get directly into the word yet, so we'll be all right. 
Amen. That's the difference between dark and light. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Now you see, now you don't, now you do. Amen. That's how the Lord wants you to come on out of the darkness and come on into the light. Come on and say amen. 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 We use everything. We use the negative for the positive. Amen. Uh, oh, yeah, as we were saying, that um, as after the day of Pentecost, after they were all speaking in tongues, different uh, languages, which was a prophecy that Jesus told them to go to the upper room and tarry until you be endowed with power from on high. And they went over 120 men and women up in the upper room praying, waiting on the Lord, praising them. And finally, of Shata, the spirit of the Lord came in like a rushing mighty wind. Amen. And it was so noisy abroad, like just like if we were here and people here and come see what's going on. You know what I mean? How folk get in a fight or something. Okay, what's going on? And men started mocking. Ah, these men must be drunk with new wine. And Peter said, no, nah, no. Nah. This is that which was spoken of by the prophet Joel in the Old Testament. In the last days, God said he'll pour out my, his spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men will dream dreams. And your young men will see vision. And that same Jesus, this is done by the promise of the same Jesus who y'all crucified. Come on. Huh? And God saw fit that he raised them up. Now, some people get confused because we say Jesus is God or I say Jesus is God. And then others say, well, he's the son of God. Nothing wrong with saying he's the son of God because God. God himself manifested himself in the flesh. So the flesh is called the Son because God is spirit, John 4 and 24. But if you get into the in-depth of the scripture, get the Holy Spirit. And when you get the Holy Spirit, you get the manifestation and get under anointed teaching. And then you'll understand the revelatory, amen, revelation of Jesus Christ. He was more than just a son. This is why some folk can't understand the salvation in Jesus. Oh, he was just a prophet. No, Jesus was more than a prophet. Jesus was God incarnate. He was God manifested on the earth. Why do you think the Bible says in the beginning was the Word, St. John 1 and 1? And the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and all things were made by him. How could it all be made for him if he was only a son? Uh, how, and how could Jesus say in John chapter 8, amen, when they said, Jesus, how do you know about Abraham? You ain't even yet 50 years old. And Jesus replied, before Abraham was, I am. Same quotation, you go to the book of Exodus and find out that when God told uh, told Moses, when Moses asked God, who did I go tell Pharaoh sent me? He said, tell him I am sent you. Who? Man, huh? Mm -hmm. All things were made by Jesus. Then go to Colossians chapter 1, verse 18. It says, in him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Go to 1 John, amen, uh, 5 and 7. And there are three that bear witness in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Spirit. And these three are one. You are body, soul, and spirit. Okay, but you are only, when you come together in the marriage, it's two of you, but the two of you become you might have a whole family. It could be a whole lot of you, but you're only one family. Amen. That's all right? All right. From the book of Acts, my brother. Let's see what we got. Uh, uh, please. Acts 3. Okay. Yeah. Let's see what we got. Acts 3. Thank you. Uh, one day, Peter and John uh -huh. were going up to the temple at time of prayer. All right. One day. At the time of prayer, Peter and uh, John were going to the temple about 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. And uh, go ahead. At 3 in the afternoon. Oh, okay. Now that man crippled from birth was being carried to the temple gate. All right, pay attention. Now, here was a man being carried to the temple gate every, you know, every time there was service going on. He wasn't being brought in the service. He was on the outside. He know where he know where he thought he could get some change from. Praise the Lord. Yeah, praise the Lord. Watch what we're gonna say. Some change. The he was change he was looking for. Amen. Wasn't the change that he got? Come on. He was looking for change. Change that you put in your pocket. But God had a change ready for him. Come on, say amen. 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 Go ahead. At the gate called beautiful. At the gate called beautiful. Where he was put every day to beg for those going into the temple court. Oh, right, you see what I'm saying? He was put there to beg. He wasn't put there to go to service. Wasn't put, put there to go hear the word of the Lord, but maybe because he was outside the gate, you know, I mean, he probably heard the word. You understand what I'm saying? But his main intention, according to him, was to come there to receive alms of the people that were going in and out. Praise the Lord. You know how some people right now, they don't want to go to church, but if they hear something about it's some food or, or something going on, they want to come. And they got every excuse in the book not to come to hear the word of God. Is that right? But when they when there's something going on, oh, man. And then their idea is that the church is supposed to help them and not help them. I go to, if you ever went to some of the, uh, even passed by some of the food pantries that the church is having, people be acting a fool. 
You know what I mean? They don't have no respect for the church, no respect for nothing. Won't come there for service or nothing. They curse, act a fool, and think the church owes them everything. And don't understand that if, if nobody don't give the church anything, the church don't have nothing to give them. All right, praise the Lord. Go ahead. When he saw Peter and John about to enter. All right, this this begging, this begging man, <laughs> praise the Lord, we won't put it like that. It, but that's what it says, he was a begging, right? Mm -hmm. This begging man, this, this, this man who needed help, right? He was, uh, when he saw Peter and John. All right, he asked them for money. All right, he was asking for some money. Peter looked straight at him. Uh-huh. As did John. All right, he, Peter looked on him when he asked him for some money. Go ahead. Then Peter said, look, look at us. Uh-huh, look at him. So the man gave them his attention. Uh -huh. All right. All right, expecting to get something from them. All right, now. He, all the money, he said, hey, y'all got any change, right? Y'all got any money, right? He just said, all right, look on us. So he took his, he put his attention on them, thinking that they were about to bless him, right? And he was about to get blessed, but not the way he thought. Now, now go ahead. Uh-huh. All right, then Peter said, "Uh huh, silver or gold, I do not have." All right, the, now apostle, because some folks think it's all about money, right? Mm -hmm. Here's the apostle saying, "I don't have no money. I don't have no silver. Mm -hmm. I don't have no gold, brother." Go ahead. But what I have, I give you. All right, but what I do have, I give you. He probably just said, "Oh Lord, what are you gonna give me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he don't have no money. What you gonna give? You know what I'm saying? Praise the Lord. What you gonna give me? Some tickets or something? Come in, come on. In the name of Jesus Christ uh -oh. of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ." Of Nazareth. Walk. Walk. Taking him by the right hand. All right, they took him. Now, they took it upon themselves under the, well, under the spirit of the Lord. Not themselves, but under the spirit of the Lord, the unction of the Lord. Because we all know nobody don't want to be touched, right? But he, when he said, fasten on us, look on us, right? That's to get his attention. Amen. To get him, amen, get him spiritually connected as much as they can. Look on up. Pay attention. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Take your mind over what you're thinking about, right? But pay attention. So regardless of what you think is going to happen, if you pay attention to us, now watch what's getting ready to happen now. Come on, say amen. Amen. Go ahead. Taking him, take him by the hand. Take, they took him by his hand. Sometimes folks, amen, some folks think they fast, but they ain't fast. Sometimes you got to right. take folks by the hand. Is that right? Amen. And lead them on like a baby. Come on. He helped them up. He, he helped, helped him them. up. Helped them up. And instantly the man's feet and ankle became strong. All right, his, and instantly his ankle bones, amen, we started receiving some strength in him by the spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. Go ahead. He jumped to his feet. He jumped to his feet. And began to walk. And he began to walk. Then he went with them into the temple court. Uh-oh, finally. He went into the temple court. This is why it's imperative, even though folks just hanging around you. You wonder what you just a begging. You just always asking for something. But that's why it's good in the name of Jesus. Just if you can't give them nothing but a word. Mm -hmm. If every now and you can give them something, give them something. But if you if you can't give them nothing but Jesus, that give it to them. Mm -hmm. Because just treat them not. You know what I mean? Because eventually you never know when that power of God is gonna bring them closer. Come on, say amen. Huh? And it's good to be nice to folks. Come on, say amen. amen. Uh, sometimes they're gonna get on your nerves. Come on, huh? Amen. But praise the Lord. It just even remind me of a a, a a a a widow in the book of Acts. Amen. A witch, rather. She was a, a a sorcerer. Amen. She was hanging around, and she was like, "These men are the men of God coming in to serve." You know, they probably and, and making it look like I'm with them. You know what I mean? Uh, but the Bible says Paul, after many days, that means he didn't do it right away. But after many days, he got vexed. But he said, "It's demon, Ayashanda, come out of her." She stopped being a witch. Cast that demon. She had spirits. She had, mm -hmm. See, those spirits gave her power. That's what we got to understand, too. People have power. It ain't always in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And it's right among the believers. You understand what I'm saying? And, you know, and as long as people seeing miracles, like even as like if these brothers were apostles, but that's why I'm comparing it. Because witches and warlocks and wizards and people with witchcraft do miracles, too. Because mm -hmm. she was bringing her masters much gain. The scriptures say. You understand what I'm saying? That's mm -hmm. why we got to pay attention to the word of God so that we don't get slipped up. You understand? Because we see a miracle. Woo, a miracle. And a miracle. You know, all over, all over the globe, even all the uh, advertising. Oh, man, there's healing going on down here in the name of Jesus. Folks are falling out like flies. People are getting healed. Folks are getting delivered. But are you really standing for the name of Jesus Christ? Mm -hmm. Come on, say it. Yeah. Huh? But anyway. A couple points here. Here was apostles. They had no money, right? 
So it wasn't predicated on the money. Is that right? But they said in the name of Jesus. Right? Such as we do have. What do you have, brother, if you don't have no money? I got Jesus. Come on, somebody say, I got Jesus. Amen. 